Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to my channel. If you are an existing beauty, welcome back. And if you are a new beauty, hey! My channel is about beauty, luxury, lifestyle, and fashion. If those are subjects that you are interested in, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So in today's episode, I thought that we would get together and create this fall inspired look right it's fall i'm really excited about it because this summer was absolutely miserable and i for one was counting down the days to fall right so when i think of fall i think of matte eyeshadows i think of vampy looks and that's exactly what i created today now i'm not gonna lie i feel like the video was kind of all over the place but hey i tried now, um, I used to create these videos a lot on my channel, but recently, I'm not sure why I haven't created them as often, but I really, really, really love all things beauty. It's makeup, fragrances, hair, fashion, accessories, handbag, shoes, whatever. I love it. What can I say? I'm a girl. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to see how I achieve this really... Um, fall kind of hybrid look it's a fall hybrid look is what I'm calling it because you this is a look that you can wear during the day and a look that you can wear at night so if you'd like to see how I created this look stay tuned okay so um I turned my fan on because I'm under all of these lights and I'm hot um and I haven't really prepped my face, only completing my eyebrows. And girl, I look a whole lot like an angry bird right now. But it's okay. It's okay. Eyebrows is not my specialty, okay? They're just not. And I find myself, if I haven't did makeup in a while, I get out of practice. And then I got to start all over again. They are just not my specialty. Not mine. Now, when I'm freelancing and doing other people's eyebrows I tend to do a, a really good job but for some reason on my face the struggle is real um, but I'm gonna prep my face I start out normally with um, the eyes so I'm going to do my um, uh, eyelid primer first now usually when I want to do a more bold look I would use like a matte paint pot but I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. So I'm just going to use this. This is the primer that I usually wear with my um, everyday no makeup makeup look, right? So um, I like this for that because it causes the um, eyeshadows to last and stay on long. Um, and I'm not really needing to really cover up anything because it's a no makeup makeup look. I'm laughing. Let's get started. I already moisturized my face in addition to um, in addition to uh, completing my eyebrows. Like I said, with the eyebrows, it just is what it is. Oh, I might have to use that paint pot, girl, because I might be out of this. Oh my God, I might have to take a trip to Sephora or Ulta. Or somewhere where I can get some more. Like I said, this is the one that I use the absolute most. I use this when uh, we got enough. Uh, uh, we, we might be in there, y'all. We might be in there. We might be in there. Okay. Um, but this is the one that I use the most when I'm um. Cause I wear a no makeup makeup look daily, right? So not every day, but for the most part right um i'm wearing a no makeup makeup look the only time i really uh like to do like a really first of all i love eyeshadow i love bold eyeshadow looks i love color in general so i'm not one of those nude girls right the girls who's always going for something kind of neutral and you know neutral that's not me i like color Okay, so just let me clarify that real quick. I am a girl that really loves colors and bold lips and 
all of that. Um, but every single day, I really don't have time to do all of those intricate eyeshadow looks. So um, when I do wear makeup regularly, it's usually a no makeup makeup kind of look. Um, and that's when I would normally wear this. Now, today I'm not doing a no makeup makeup kind of look. And it's times like this that I would normally use the paint pot. But like I said, um, well, first of all, when you use the paint pot, uh, it's meant to really get your makeup to stay and sit there. So it can be a little bit harder with the wash off process. And because I am um, not really going anywhere and I'm just putting it on to wash it off, I don't want to... Um, make my wash off process any harder than what it really needs to be right so yeah i like to start off with my eyes like i mentioned before and um that's what we're getting ready to do i'm just looking for my brushes my favorite brushes i have <laughs> a set of brushes that i like to use with every makeup look and like I said, it's not really about the products or the even the techniques at this point. We're just having fun putting on our fall makeup because it's finally, finally fall. And this is just my um, transition shade. And I'm just putting that in my transition area. Now all of the Mac, the um, eyeshadows that I'm using today are MAC. All of them are MAC and that's what I tend to use a lot of MAC eyeshadows. I think, I'm not sure but I really do think they're my favorite. Um, I really love the consistency of them. Um, the quality of them I really do like them especially to me it just seems like they're more easier to apply but I do like others don't get me wrong like I have quite a few um, eyeshadow palettes um, that I really really like as well but I just tend to gravitate more towards the MAC eyeshadow palettes I hope that made sense because I'm really just blabbing if you don't know I'm not really a, a major talker so when I come on to film these videos, I'm always um, nervous because I'm not a real big talkative person, right? In real life, I don't talk a lot. Well, I would really have to know you really good to talk to you. And I really usually... Um, <laughs> I think I lost my train of thought yeah in real life I'm not a big talker and um, so I always get nervous when I start filming these videos because I really want to connect to you guys and I don't want the videos to just be silent like when I first started on um, YouTube about 8 years ago I had a previous channel, whole nother story. I used to, I started out making silent videos, right? I would just maybe include some music and not really say anything. And that's really because I'm not a bit talker in real life. I have to really, 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 really know you. So when there's times that I need to speak, like I need to speak and need to get to know you guys and engage more with you guys and want to. It's not that I just need to, but I want to. Um, so that means I have to speak more. And if you know me, that's just kind of a big deal because I don't talk a lot. Should we do a daytime look or a nighttime look? Hmm. Comment down below and let me know what you think we should do. Um, even though I'll already the look will, all, will all be, already have been created by the time you see this video. Um, but yeah, comment down below. I'm thinking 
I'm going to do a transitional look, right? A transitional look is a look that you can wear both um, day and night, right? So I think I'm going to do a transitional look. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm so nervous. Why? I've been doing this for eight years and it never, ever fails. Every single time I get on camera, I get super nervous. And to be honest, I, I just don't know why. Because I'm super nervous right now, right? Super, super, super nervous. And if I say super nervous one more time, I might hit my own self. But um, I don't know. I just get nervous. Clean this mirror off, girl. I'm looking in the... If you don't know, I use like three mirrors when I'm doing my makeup. I have the big one that's kind of right beneath my camera. I have a smaller one that's kind of right beneath me. And then I like to use the smaller compact mirrors to get up and close and personal um, when and if I need to. And I'm like, why can't I see in this mirror? Because it's dirty. That's why. That's why you can't see because it's filthy. Usually, um... Sometimes my um, 10 year old, she really loves makeup. And sometimes when I'm not down in my studio, she'll come down here and pretend to be filming a get ready with me. And um, when she does that, she, of course she puts her hands all over my mirror. And don't really worry about that primer right there that's at my waterline. Um, I'm going to cover it up with a really dark eyeshadow. Today we're going to be using like an eyeshadow as a um, eyeliner. Like we're going to use eyeshadow instead of eyeliner. So I'm not going to stress over that too much. I am so incredibly happy that it is finally fall. Like I mentioned in the intro, this summer was brutal, okay? It was absolutely brutal. Um, I just really couldn't enjoy it, like, at all, right? Um, I don't know about where you are or what if you're in the United States or if you're somewhere abroad. But I know here in Jacksonville, Florida, baby, it was so super hot that it was just unbearable, right? It was unbearable. This summer was unbearable. And we didn't really get to do much because we was always trying to avoid the heat. We could not get our house house to cool off enough um it was just too entirely too hot this summer i'm just it was just too much so i'm so excited that it's fall that means it's and it's already been significantly cooler weather here i don't know how long that's going to last because it is florida you know after all in florida our weather it's very, 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 very bipolar here, right? But um, we've already started experiencing the cooler weather. Um, the house is much more cooler. Uh, and it's just a lot more comfortable. You know, we can go out and not feel like we're roasting. Um, I'm just really excited about it. And then there's all of the fall um, festivities right like fall festivals and pumpkin patches yeah we do that here in Florida and pumpkin patches and the our um city and state fair comes in the fall and of course there's Halloween and Thanksgiving and all of that other stuff so I'm really 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 excited about finally being able to be outside <laughs> Like everybody keeps saying, we're outside. I have not been outside because I've been running from the heat. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm even excited about fall fashion 
you know here in some in Florida our fall fashion looks a little bit different than the rest of the country because we still have our kind of warm days not hot but warm days so it's not unusual here to see people in the fall months um, with a um, with wearing sandals um, and shorts and sometimes even a cross between um, you know shorts sandals and long sleeves or sweaters or, or a, like a lightweight jacket and I'm really excited about that the fall time is really when I get to wear a lot of sneakers and lightweight you know boots and booties or booties not like the long knee boots but you know like string up boots that maybe come to your calf or your ankle um so i'm really excited about that too um i'm a person if you don't know me i really like to wear graphic tees and baseball caps i mean i really like to wear that those looks um because i'm kind of a really casual person um and i feel like the fall is perfect for that right i can throw on a good um, graphic tee I can throw on a good um, you know baseball cap and if it's cool a cute little jean jacket some matching you know sneakers or or boots yeah I'm just a hat I'm just really excited about the change of season I've already put up my Halloween decorations and all of that so I'm really really excited about it um listen to me holding a whole conversation about the weather that's how serious it had got y'all it had got so serious that all we talked about was the weather so like I said before I'm going to go in with a dark um eyeshadow this is give a glam by Matt this really really deep chocolate brown eyeshadow I'm going to use that um, instead of a um, eyeliner because it I find that now I do use eyeliner but I find that when I go in with an eyeshadow instead of an eyeliner or if I set the um, uh, eyeliner with a dark eyeshadow it looks a lot softer and a lot a um, lot more pretty Right, so that's what I'm, I'm gonna start with this eye first. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Yeah, girl, we're gonna need to look at this up close and personal. <laughs> Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget. But you won't let me something in my brain wants you. I've been thinking. Did y'all see that? It's really, really soft. And I'm just kind of blending it out here so it's not like a harsh line right there. But I really, really like it. I find that it looks really, really pretty, especially for um, like a daytime look or something like that you still get the effect of eyeliner but it's um, not like the in your face eyeliner I'm not really liking the blending right now so I'm going to go in and start blending this out again and then I'll be right back okay so I have completed this eyeshadow look I really like it when I think of fall and eyeshadow I think of matte eyeshadow right now sometimes if it's like a special occasion um, I might put a little bit of shimmer or a sparkle on them but when I think of fall makeup I do automatically think of matte kind of smokyish eyeshadow right maybe not a deep dark smoky eye um unless I'm like going out 
you know, on the night on the town. But kind of smoky-ish, matte, dark shades, right? Browns, teals, um, even orange and um, greens, like a an olive green. That's what I think of when I think of fall shades. And in this case, I'm using this kind of nude, this kind of nude lid shade, but it's more of a warmer, kind of darker uh, lid shade. And I'm accenting that with brown um, eyeshadows. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and complete my foundation, highlight and contour off camera, and then I'll be back to finish off this look with you guys. Okay, so I have completed my foundation, my highlight, my contour, and now it's time to move on to the rest of the face. First, we're going to start out with um, underneath my eyes and my waterline. Because I'm about to put on such a dark, um, I'm about to put on such a dark uh, eyeshadow beneath my waterline, I want to go ahead and pop in a nude eyeliner in my waterline. I don't usually put um, eyeliner in my waterline except for when I am uh, doing uh, anything really dark um, on my eyes. Even though this is not really a dark eyeshadow look, it is what a crossbreed look, meaning it could be worn both day and night. Um, I do, I am about to put that um, Give a Glam by MAC beneath my waterline. So whenever you uh, put on a dark, anything dark around your eyes, really dark, it will tend to make your eyes look closed. I like for my eyes to look more open. So whenever I do this, I will always put a nude eyeliner in my waterline and that will help my eyes continue to look more open. I feel like I sound so monotone and I can't help it. I don't know why I sound like that. I'm going to need to work on it. That's going on to work on this. And y'all will see the effect in a minute. It's just going to open my eyes up more when I put on that dark um, eyeshadow beneath my waterline. I just went live on Facebook for the first time while doing my foundation. You know, the complexion part of my makeup. And y'all, I've never did that before. I was so nervous. I just can't stop thinking about you. So next, I'm going to go in with that. Um, well, no, I'm going to do my highlight and um, blush first. I'm going to use, um, today I'm going to be using uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills and Reezy for highlight today. I like to put on my highlight before I put on my blush because that helps with the blending process. I'm really just trying to branch out and do new stuff, you know, with my um, content creating. And so I really thought it would be fun, why well, I thought that, to go live on Facebook and try to um, do my, uh, my foundation, my complexion. And y'all, I just... First of all, I'm completely out of practice and I was just so nervous and um, and I realized I sound so monotoned. And I kind of just blend it up whereas I don't want it to look like a big check mark. And like I mentioned before, I'm kind of going over the top of it with blush anyway. And I just really want to be able to peek through my blush. And I'm just blending it out kind of to make sure it's not, you know, splotchy. I have such dry skin, it's real easy for my makeup to look splotchy even though I do moisturize. I do um, moisturize and stuff like that. But for some reason, it always, it really has a tendency to look splotchy. So... What I have to do is just, um, I hope y'all can hear me. Like I said, I just discovered that I'm so monotone. Ah! Um, but, um, I, 
um, so I like to go in and really blend out stuff like highlighter, stuff that's really going to stand out on my face because my skin is so dry. I really like to go and really make sure it's really blended because it will, it can look splotchy because like I said, I have such dry skin. And because it's fall, today's blush is going to be Burnt Peppers by MAC. Like I mentioned before, I'm kind of a MAC girl. I do like other brands though. I have tried them, but I always end up coming back to MAC. With my blush, I like to start here and work my way that way. And I do have on a cream blush, if you don't know. I just consider that part of my um, complexion process, like part of the foundation highlight and contour process. But I do apply a cream blush underneath my um powder blush i just feel like when you do both the cream and powder blush it just looks so much more natural right mm -hmm. I just believe that for every cream you apply, you need to set it with the powder. Okay, so that's it for the blush. Now we're going to do under the waterline. And I'm using um, Give a Glam yep, by MAC. And just let me get a brush. I really need some new brushes, right? But the problem is I love my existing brushes so much that um somebody. all that I crave when you're away nights are sleepless do we need space yeah maybe you're brave boy you're my weakness giving we take the love that we make it's my favorite drug Okay, so y'all just, I was on the phone, so y'all probably didn't hear me, <laughs> but um, I just put on this Give a Glam right beneath my waterline instead of a dark um, eyeliner. It does help my eyes to pop. It kind of brings the whole look together, but I'm not finished with this eye look yet because I do want to pop something in my waterline. I'm not sure if I want to do like a pop of color in, I mean, my tear duct area, like a kind of bluish tealish um highlight in my tear duct area or if i want to do uh just leave it like this and just do like the same emreezy um because i am going to be wearing this lip which we're going to go live together on one of my facebook groups and do the lip to all of us together so that should be fun um but um yeah i just I'm not sure what I want to do but I'm really loving this so far and y'all see how when I put on the eyeshadow right beneath my waterline I don't bring it all the way around that is with intention again the whole goal is for me not to close my eyes and if I bring that all the way around like all the way around instead of just kind of like the outer half it will again give my eyes the closed effect and if you like that that's fine or if your eyes are naturally big enough where that doesn't happen even better but for me my eyes are not they are um my whole face is more on the smaller side go figure um that's my body not <laughs> but um yeah i think i'm going to do both right i think i'm going to go in with Amrezy in my tear duct area and then top it off with one of Fenty Beauty's um, highlighters. Give me a minute. So let's cross our hands and see how it turns out. Um, <laughs> Pray for me. Because <laughs> I get real creative real quick and my looks will go real left real quick because I like to play with them. I like to get real creative. And so, 
and then it don't always look in real life like I imagined it in my head. The good news is I'm not about to go anywhere. I am literally putting this on to wash it off. Well, I might film a haul video, like the stuff I've been collecting and prefer preparation for haul, kind for fall, kind of refreshing things. You know, not buying all new things, but just buying things to add with, add to what I already got so I think I might do that today since I'm already wearing makeup now I'm just gonna go in with that Fenty Beauty okay not bad not bad not bad at all okay so what I'm going to do next is set my face and then pop on some eyelashes and then we are going to come back and go live on Facebook and one of my makeup the makeup groups that I'm a part of and do these lips together so I'll see y'all in a minute I put on my eyes my eyelashes I'm a little bit nervous but let's go live Hello everyone, this is my first time going live in this group, well in any group period and I just wanted to come on here with you guys and do my lipstick, right? So I just got finished creating this face um, for my YouTube channel. I was actually filming this look for my YouTube channel and thought it would be fun if we all did the lipstick together, right? So. Um, I'm on here a lot and I watch you guys go live and see all the fabulous makeup looks that you guys create. And I'm not going to lie, I love it. So, I thought it would be fun if I myself would just step out and do my lipstick with you guys. Not a whole face. I see some of y'all do a whole face, but I just want to do my lipstick. So, today we're going to be doing this combination. I know it's a little bit weird. This is Transformed fabulously transformed or something like that by mac and i'm not sure what color this is because i'm not wearing my glasses and then this is a red um lip liner from the mac Aaliyah collection um i just thought it might be fun uh it's a little weird but i thought it would be fun if i just used a red lip liner i could have used a dark lip liner but i just want to see how it looks in the red right so here it goes Like I said, I'm not wearing my glasses, so I'm going to need a little bit of a closer look. And I got my fan on because it's hot. I live in um, Jacksonville, Florida. And even though it's been feeling a lot better here, um... It still gets hot. Besides, I'm under a lot of lights. dark shade first and like I said I'm also filming a video for my YouTube channel and just thought it would be fun to bring to also do this live at the same time we always have these looks in our head and they rarely turn out how we think they're going to but it's always worth a try. You're the reason I can't get out of my head. I'm 
having a real trust the process moment. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade, which is the lighter of the the berry shade. Fingers crossed, everybody. Okay, y'all, so the allergies are about to kick in, so I want to go ahead and end this video. This is the completed look. Um, I really like the way that it turned out. Uh, Midway through the live stream of me completing my lipstick, um, the camera died, so I'm just going to tell you what I did real quick. I put on that lighter berry lip, blended it out by just blotting like that, and then I cleaned it up a bit with a little bit of foundation. That's it, nothing special. Um, if you want, you could make this um, look really glossy, but like I mentioned before, um, when I'm creating a, um, a fall lip, I think of matte colors, I think of vampy, and so that's exactly what I achieved and was trying to achieve with this look. But if you are a girl who prefers a, um, a glossy lip, do your thing, girl. Do your thing, Wody. Do your thing. <laughs> well, I just aged myself, but do your thing. Um, just put a little clear lip gloss on and it'll look really good. Um, I, the clear lipstick that I like is this. It's the MAC lip gloss. Um, I can't think lip glass. The MAC lip glass. That's the one that I would wear whenever I'm trying to do a glossy look. It looks really, really wet and pretty and shiny. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed creating this video. Even though I kind of feel like it was all over the place. Um, if you made it through to this point. Girl. Um, but yeah, um, I feel like it was kind of all over the place. Um, I don't film, film these type of videos a lot anymore. I really don't know why. I still really, really love makeup and makeup products. Um, but yeah, I enjoy creating the video. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I promise I'm going to work on being monotone because I feel like I'm monotone discovered that I'm monotone which means I'm probably very very boring or sound boring and I don't want to be that way so um yeah if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and share please follow me on instagram at christina underscore in real life underscore and on tiktok at christina in real life and real is spelled r-e-e-l so yeah um until the next time my beauties be bold be brave and be beautiful.